Hello everybody, it's me again. So now that I've got my Jets and AGX Orin up and running and uh, we're doing some demos on it, so I thought I'd try out a, a, a camera for it. So I went ahead and I got me a Z2 stereo camera. And as you can see right here, it sits, it's sitting nicely on top of the, uh, the Orin. Um, it's just your the standard Z2 uh, camera. And uh, I'm going to show you how easy this was to uh, get it working with uh, uh, the Jetson AGX Orin with Jetpack 5. Uh, so uh, I'll show you how that works. So let's close this out. If you go to the Stereo Labs page, and I'm putting a link to all these things I'm showing you, the developers page, and then you want to go to the SK, S, SDK downloads. You see they've already got one here at ZSDK for L42 34.1 beta Jetpack 5.0 a developer's preview. So you just download that. And then uh, what I did is I downloaded it and I just threw it in my home drive right here and brought up a terminal and then ran it. And it installed just perfectly. I mean I had to do yes a couple times and then it just installed. The only issue when it, uh, with the installation is that it, it couldn't install the uh, Python API. So once you uh, get done running this right here, what happens is you'll have this folder in the computer user local Z folder. And that's where it'll have, it'll have put everything. Now and then your samples are in here. So we're going to run a couple of the samples, the Python samples. Before you're able to do that, we gotta uh, load the Python SDK. So to do that, um, yeah, I'll put a link to this also. You gotta go to the uh, uh, Serial Labs Z Python API. I'll put a link to this. Go down to the bottom. Click on this SRC folder. And you'll have to run this. And this will build uh, the Python API from source. So just follow these instructions, um, you, you know, I did all this, ran this, but when I ran this part right here, I had uh, to set some of my permissions, it didn't, I needed to set to a path, a permission for one of the paths, but that was easy, installed on that, but then I re-ran it and installed it just, just fine. And once I installed it, I was able to run the, the Python examples. So uh, that's another thing too, is like, uh, when, when I did the GitHub repo to pull this Z page, Python API down. I put it in here. I, I made sure I put it in the computer user local Z folder. So it's local to all the other Z uh, SDKs that we're using. But anyway, so once you get that done and loaded up, you should be able to run some of the uh, samples. Like there's a, a quite a few samples in here. Uh, let's see. So uh, let's do. I might uh, pause these because sometimes these take a little, little uh, uh, when they do a setup. So we're going to run the Python 3 body tracking one. And it should go to here, body tracking, and the Python. So and this is uh, uh, one of the examples. So let's go ahead and run this. Now I might pause it a little bit because it does a little bit of setup. As you can see, it's tracking me. Um, and uh, they, they've done a really good job with their SDK. Um, it's you really utilizing the GPU, so that's pretty good. And like I say, this is running on a, a Jetson AGX Orin with a Jet a Jetpack 5.0. And there's this part. You know, so that's pretty cool. So the next one we'll do is let's close this. We'll do uh, let's do some object detection. You see it's tracking me. A little box around me, that's pretty cool. That's pretty neat. I got a box around me. So there's that one. So the, the Python uh, examples, they're working really well. I, on me, my final 
place I want to be is I want to be able to use this camera for um, deep stream applications. So for that, you're gonna, it's got to rerun. It's got to run GStreamer. So what they've done is they have a little GStreamer, so you can add ZGStreamer to your applications. So you go to the GitHub repo and go to the ZGStreamer page and do uh, follow the instructions to install it. And they've done a really good job here. I mean, it's really thorough. I was very impressed. And so, and there's a lot of uh, it tells you how everything works, uh, what you can pull out of it, um, and then it gives you some examples. So let's run a couple examples. Let's uh, run this one: Lo local left right stream plus multi class object detection results. Let's grab this, and let's see. I can CD out of here. Like I've already installed this and run all the instructions to install it. So this is running Z2 with GStreamer. See it's tracking me. And it's giving the distance. You see that? That's pretty neat. So it sees me and my dog came by, it'll probably see him also. So that's pretty cool. And then we're gonna do another one where it's uh it's gonna have the depth in there. So let's run this one. So you can run them running about 20, 30 frames a second. Um, you know, it's tracking me and it's giving my distance like right here. So that's pretty cool. So and then also at the same time, it's doing the depth image. Let's see if we can get that one to come up there. So it's also doing the depth image there. So that's pretty cool. So you know, it runs GStreamer, so it'd be it'll be no problem getting this to run with uh, uh, DeepStream. So this is pretty nice. This is cool. I gotta admit they did a very good job of getting the their SDK to run with the, the Jetson uh, uh, NVIDIA Jetpack 5.0. I mean it runs, it, it, this was all very smoothly done. So and everything works fine. So I, I mean I'm, you, I can't wait. There, you, once I get this going we're gonna uh, have a lot more videos coming. And they're going to be focusing on the uh, the Z2, and when it works with the the Jetson AGX Orin Developer Kit. All right, so thanks a lot, and I'm going to put a link to all these things so uh, you guys can do them yourselves. Bye.